Our pre at bat routine. This is mission critical for us. Okay? We start when you're two away. Okay? When you're in the hole. All right? Different mental conditioning guys are going to tell you to start even earlier. Start four away, all that stuff. I think it's hard to do. We start two away when they're in the hole. I stand on the top step of our dugout. When they're two away, they're going to voice to me what their plan is. Okay? It better be along the lines of what ours are, but they're going to talk about what their plan is. Okay? I make them verbalize it to me. You guys, if you only have two coaches, you've got to be on the field, verbalize it to a teammate. Okay? You verbalize it, you believe in it. Then we get to on deck. Okay? We're locked in on deck. I force that of our guys. Okay? When they're on deck, they're facing the pitcher. They're competing along with the hitter that's in the, in the batter's box. Okay? Here's the, thing, here's the information I need to know before I get to the batter's box. Right? All this timing stuff that we're going to talk, I need to know what, what his velocity is. So I need to be on deck. I need to be establishing some, some kind of timing. Okay? Then you got to the batter's box. Right? All kinds of different ways to do it. Our job as hitters is to create adversity in a pitcher. How do we go to the batter's box? We go big man on campus, man. All right, I, brought, I tried to bring a bat up here. I couldn't get it on the plane. I did, sad as it is, a hitting guy talking about hit, hitting without a bat. I, I tried to get on the plane, and my bag's not big enough. Um, we're, gripping the, we're gripping the fat part of the bat, and we're walking to, to, to the plate with a, with a plan. Right? There's nothing better I love seeing than going to a big league game. You watch those guys walk to the plate, it's pretty unbelievable. That's pretty, pretty ridiculous. I was, I was watching a, a video one of our guys sent me yesterday of Kyle Schwarber. Right, Kyle Schorber when he was at Indiana. He walked up to the plate. He grabs the bat in his hands. He walked up to the plate and it was like, guess what? Mission, mission accomplished. You got some adversity when you walk into the box. Okay? We, tr we teach that to our guys. We implement that. When you, talk, when you see our batting practice and how we do that, we implement that into our batting practice. Okay? I talked about being aggressive, but adversity, that's how we're going to create the, the walks that hit by pitch. It's a big difference. You read a lot, you talk to a lot of people, they talk about walks. They talk about OPS, right? You talk about getting on base, you talk about big league clubs. It's how you create the walk that matters, all right? Don't misinterpret it, right? We're not going up there and taking till two strikes. We're stacking the against, deck against us if we do that. We're creating, we're creating through adversity those walks because they don't want to pitch to us. That's our job, create adversity, okay? Timing, we're going, to spend, we're, going to talk, we're going to talk about this a lot. The reason I talk about it here kind of ties in this, the timing. It's, you know, if you heard me talking in the last one, it's the biggest creator of swing falls, in my opinion. Guys don't work on getting on time and have a, have a plan to do that. I'll show you how we do it. Pre at bat routine, all right? I might have shown this one in the last one. Josh Donaldson, this one floats around a lot, all right? What's he doing? Getting on deck, getting on time, man. Doesn't mean you have to do it, right? But it's my job as a coach, it's your job as a coach, to give your guys the best chance to do it, right? There's guys that will resist me about this, be, about being on, being, being on deck. They'd rather be aloof on deck, right, and just kind of sit there. And all, I, all we're trying to do is give them the best chance to be on time as we get there. Another one, I showed this one in the last one too. Manny Machado, I'm an Orioles guy, sorry guys, you guys can see a whole bunch of Orioles stuff when you see stuff. The dance, being on time, right? So what does timing mean, what does that do? All right, what you see is as, as, as he separates, Manny goes up. Starts to establish some timing. He goes forward, Manny goes forward. They match, right? The dance, I call it. Um, we spend a ton of time doing this. I'll show you how we do this, but just two, two things so you can see timing. Here's your counts, okay? This is everything in 2006 for us. This is our data, okay, our stats. Be aggressive, right? How about, our account, how about our averages with no strikes? Take those numbers, aren't you? All of a sudden you get the two strikes, what happens? 259, 213, 204, 200. Not much different than the major league data, but a little bit different. Okay? Virtually half, you look at our numbers, two strikes, 221. Virtually half of our bats came with two strikes. What's our challenge this year? Which one of our goals going into this year? Make.